Linear programming, formulation of the problems. First, read the question carefully. Now, it involves three steps. The first thing is the product. So, it's a decision variable. How many or how much? So, in this case, the number of type A machines or number of type B machines. So, first thing you always have to decide how many or how much. This is called the decision variables. Then step two is the restrictions or constraints. In this question, maximum we have 40 operators and maximum space available is 100 meters squared. So this is constraints. Then third is the objective. What's our objective? Do we want to make the maximum profit or is it minimum cost? So that's called the objective. So first we do the step one. So we give a variable x which is the number of type A machines then y is the number of type B machines then step 2 the constraints in this case we need one operator for type here for type B we need two operators so this is the constraint about the operators so we can have one X one operator for the type A two operators for type B then maximum is 40 so it will be 40 or less then the space So type A needs 3 meters squared and type B needs 4. So it's 3x plus 4y and maximum space is 100 meters squared. So it's less than or equal to 100. And the third step is the profit. So P in this case, we make 75 from each type A, 120 from type B. So 75 AX in this case, plus 120 Y. Now we solve this problem to work out the maximum profit. So first we draw all the lines. Now this line, when y is 0, x is 40. When x is 0, y is 20. So this line here is for the equation x plus 2y less or equal to 40. Then when x is 0, y is 25. When y is 0, x is 33.3, so which is here. So this line representing 3x plus 4y. Strictly speaking, it's not a equation, it's inequality. Less or equal to 100. Now we shade. We also know there's a x can't be negative or y can't be negative. So there's a line here. 
if we put x equal to 0, this satisfies, so we on this side of the line, and we don't need this side. So this side is excluded. Similar for this line, x0, y0, that satisfies this inequality. So we exclude the side we don't need. So this is excluded. Then x can't be negative. Y can't be negative. So this is our feasible region R. So this is the area we can have. Now we want to maximize the profit. So we got four vertices here. Here's vertex A. This is coordinate 0, 0. That means making no. So we bind no type A or B. This is the vertex B. That's 33.3. .3, so for whole numbers. So we will use 33. Maximum we can bind type A. Type B is here. Or here, coordinate C by 0 type A, but by 20 type B. Then here is vertex T. It looks like 20, 10, but we will double check by solving simultaneous equation. So we got the equation here 3x plus 4y we write equal to 100. So this is this equation. Now this equation here if you multiply this equation by 2 then write underneath here so we get 2x plus 4y equal to 80. This way we can eliminate y. So subtract the bottom equation from the top, you get x equal to 20. Then if x is 20 here, then 40 minus 20 divided by 2, so we get y equal to 10. So this point is correct there, so x is 20 and y is 10. Now we want to see which vertex give us the maximum profit. So we put all this information in the table. So we first write the vertex A, the coordinates 0, 0, B, 33, 0, C, 0, 20, then D, 20, 10. So vertex A, buying 0 type A and buying 0 type B, would not give you any profit, so that's 0. 0. Now type B, so just buying type A, 75 times 33, would give you answer 2475. Then the vertex C means buying no type A, buying 20 type B, so 20 times 120, so that gives you the answer 2400. Then vertex D buying 10 type B and 20 type A. So 20 times 75 plus 120 times 10. So we get the profit here 2700. Exactly.
So this is our maximum profit. So after this formulation, so we write, so the decision is made, so by 20 type A machines and 10 type B. And this will give us a profit. of 2700 and this is maximum so maximum profit 2700